The creation of a sound weld will require various materials, an experienced welder, heat, and welding equipment. An inspection of all of this began with a document is known as WPS or Welding Procedures Specification. A WPS lays out the specification for the welding process to ensure that the resulting weld meets the existing code and standard requirements. A WPS is qualified by a qualified welding engineer. There are four types of WPS the difference between them is how they are qualified. The first type of WPS is validated by the employer performing the testing as per code or standard. The second type of WPS is the pre-qualified WPS as per the code for example AWSD 1.1. PWPS are allowed for proven weldability history of base metal and welding consumables. At number 3 is Standard Welding Procedure Specification or called SWPS. They are published by the American Welding Society and can be purchased by any company for their use. They are validated through tests by the contractors or fabricators. At last at number 4 is WPS Qualified Using Mock Examination. There is no standard format available for these types of WPS. ISO 15613 is a good reference standard for these types of WPS qualification. The WPS format is defined by the customer's need, quality requirement, and welding conditions. Usually, welding macro, surface NDT, visual inspection are the most suitable tests for these types of WPS qualification. A WPS is important for a number of purposes. They are mainly. Number 1. Welding repeatability. The use of a WPS ensure weld repeatability, meaning any welder shall be able to make the given weld in the same way every time. Number 2. Welding quality. WPS qualification takes place via the testing of the PQR. Thus ensure that the weld shall meet the minimum specified requirements. Number 3. Safety. Welding performed without WPS can lead to accidents during production. And also a bad weld can result in serious fatality. Number 4. Economy. WPS ensures the use of the right material and welding consumables. Thus allowing mistakes, reduce welding defects, and hence save money. The WPS must be valid to ensure that it meets the minimum specified requirements for mechanical properties and quality requirements. This is done by procedure qualification record. A PQR is the record of actual welding conditions that take place during the welding of the test coupon for WPS qualification. PQR also include the results of the mechanical test and other tests to show the weld pass the minimum requirements. There are various codes and standards used for WPS and PQR qualification. They are Codes and Standards for WPS PQR Qualification First, ASME Section 9 Second, AWSD 1.1 and other parts of AWSD series Third, ISO 15614 Part 1 and other parts of ISO 15614 series Fourth, API 1104. The purpose of all above is to provide a qualification for a welding procedure which shall ensure the welding quality and repeatability. Subscribe and share my YouTube channel to stay updated for the next part on WPS qualification. Also, you can contact us if you are looking for a customized training to learn how to write a WPS PQR.
a very essential training for new welding engineers and welding inspectors at affordable rates.